In this video, I've got Richard from the Springcom team to come in and have a bit of a chat about the different sort of data services available here in Australia. Because when it comes to internet, there's so many acronyms, so much jargon, and so many different offerings out there, it can get confusing of what's what and when you'd use it. So, should we start? Yeah, good Pete. Let's start from the start. <laughs> we'll start with ADSL. This is probably the most common internet service currently in Australia. Uh, most people have that at home, and, and obviously offices run off it too. Yeah, correct, yeah. So, ADSL is basically run over the copper network. Yep. Copper's ran all over Australia and that's how we deliver ADSL to the premises. Awesome, so that's the basically the same sort of lines that run your phone lines, same piece of the wire. So Correct. traditionally with ADSL, as a lot of people probably understand by now, is that your ADSL service runs over your phone line. So you'll have a phone line going into your office or your home and have an internet service sitting on top of that, which is your ADSL connection. That's right, yep. Uh, but there is something called naked DSL. There is. Now that is fundamentally, correct me if I'm wrong here, it's a same piece of wire going into your office, yep. but basically the phone voice element of that connection is just not enabled. That's right, yeah, so it's basically a cheaper service. Um, it's unfortunately not available at every exchange within Australia, yep. but where, where, where possible, absolutely will recommend it. It's a way to go. If you only want yeah. internet services, it's a great way to go because it keeps your costs down, you're not having to pay the traditional phone line rental component of the service. That's right, correct. Perfect. Yep. And now the next level up, I guess if we sort of start from the bottom and work our way up in yep. terms of different packages, would be what's referred to as EFM. Yep. Now again, my understanding of EFM is where they, they grab multiple pieces of copper, so basically multiple ADSL services, and sort of stick them together. Yeah. Now that's not probably a technical way to explain it, but it's the way that I think most people get a, a better visual understanding. Yeah, well I'm not very technical myself, so it is a good way to explain it. We basically just bond ADSL services or copper services together to try and get you higher bandwidth and that's what we call EFM yeah. or IP line. Yeah. Now I know you've got a great analogy I've heard you speak about before where it's yeah. about lanes of a freeway. Yeah, yeah, so think of ADSL as one lane on a freeway. We basically put multiple lanes together to try and give you a bigger freeway. We try and get you bigger bandwidth to get you better access to the internet. Yeah. So it's basically sort of adding multiple things together and just that multiplies out in terms of the speed and the bandwidth you're gonna be able to get through your connection. Yeah. Sure. Now, one of the biggest things or misconceptions somewhat about ADSL and EFM is it's a up to best effort service. Yeah. Now, that means that there's sort of, you know, expected speeds you'll get on your ADSL service, or obviously with your EFM service where you're bonding multiple ADSL services together. But that is not always going to be guaranteed, and it can't be guaranteed. No, is that it's, right? It's true, yeah. Unfortunately, with ADSL and EFM, as Pete just said before, it is a best effort connection. So there's a lot of factors that can limit the performance of ADSL and EFM. Distance from the exchange, the, the quality of your copper in your street. Um, so yeah, we, we always try to give you a, an estimate of what we can deliver, but it is a best effort connection. Yeah, so you sort of are somewhat stuck with the speed you get when it's connected. Correct. Yeah. But if you're wanting some sort of like a dedicated and confirmed speed level, that's where you sort of jump up yeah. to sort of the next level connection, which is known as fiber. Fiber. Yeah. So, so fiber gives you a, a, what is promised is delivered type speed and bandwidth. Is that right? That's right, yeah. So if we put in an application to get you 10 meg of fiber speed or 100 meg of fiber speed, you achieve 10 meg or 100 meg of yeah. fiber speed. And that is obviously uh, dependent on where you're located, your building, your office premises, if fibre and those sort of equivalents are available in your location. That's right, yeah. So we're basically delivering optical fibre all the way to your premises where possible. Yeah. So that's great if you sort of, you know, if you're a heavy internet user using company and you want to make sure you have a certain amount of speed and bandwidth, Fibre is definitely a way to go. Yeah, definitely. There's a couple other services mm. similar to Fibre with different names and we won't bore your tears with them in this particular video. It'll just be more jargon, more acronyms that just won't help. But <laughs> if you need something like a dedicated fixed speed bandwidth service, speak to the team at Springcom and we'll help work out what is the best offering for your particular location and building. But it's probably not worth, or it's probably not right to finish up a video about data without talking about the NBN. Because that's obviously the, the thing that everyone's talking about at the moment, it's getting rolled out across the country. And we've got quite a few videos uh, throughout the site here already about the NBN and some detail about how it all works, how it's rolling out. But fundamentally, the government is replacing all the copper wire that we sort of spoke about before that delivers traditional phone lines and ADSL services, yep. pulling them all out and replacing that with fibre across the whole country. That's right, yeah, so think of it sort of like the old TV network. We turned off the old TV analog network, it's all moved across to digital, it's the same with MBN. Yep. So we're slowly turning off the copper network and we're slowly delivering what well, MBN is equivalently just a fibre service mm. to your premises. And one of the good things with the MBN mm. is you've got five different speed options, which we talk about throughout the site here as well. So you have the choice of sort of picking what level of speed and bandwidth you want uh, over the fibre services provided through the MBN. So if the MBN's coming to your area or it's already there, you've probably heard a lot about it. And if not, pick up the phone, 
speak to someone in Springcom. We can help you with NBN questions and queries along with any other data service. We're here with a fresh approach to telecommunications.